I enlisted in the Army and reported to basic training AIT OSET, one station unit training for 19 Delta Cavalry Scouts in April, it was April 3rd, 1990, when I first reported to basic training. And it was a country at peace at the time. We were not at war with anyone. The world was relatively stable. I arrived in my unit shortly after Iraq invaded Kuwait. And I remember I stepped off the aircraft on September 1st, it was about 1300 in the afternoon, onto the black tarmac at the airbase in Saudi Arabia and the blast of heat that just hit us in the face. And I got to the base of the stairs of the aircraft and someone's handing you a gallon jug of drinking water to hydrate with. And I still remember getting that mission, like, you know, that's your first combat mission as a brand new private. And I came in as an E-1. I also remember distinctly, once the air war started, the aircraft, we could see them coming from Saudi Arabia with their lights on, flying very, very low, as in, with under a thousand feet and you could see the lights in the distance and it was always about the same point you'd see all the lights shut off and that experience did for me was understanding the sheer awesome force and power of an armored formation of watching a tank battalion on the move across the open desert in formation was just an amazing sight and then watching that formation swing into battle uh, and how it operates when when properly trained um, it is a, a, an amazing and awesome thing to see and, and to witness the, the firepower that it can bring to bear as what is truly the decisive arm of our nation's military. Some things that, that just ring true over the last 30 years are readiness matters, fitness matters, training matters. You never know when you're going to need those things. You never know when you're going to need each other.